actually a triple reason for you to be up here because we've got a new induction. Yes, and you're we going have. to invite the new inductee up. Am I? So we're going okay. To do that. Oh, yes, and, I am. Uh, and James is going to join us. Yes. Away you go. Okay, well, um, the new induction is actually a person who uh, I've worked with very closely over the last year and a half. Uh, Beverly Wallace, who's a senior manager at the, the Ministry of Education. She's been the person with whom the Eureka team has uh, worked very closely. Duncan's going to do the formal introduction, but it's certainly my pleasure uh, to be involved in bringing uh, Beverly into the club and to be her buddy. And, and James, I think you're going to do the... Well, no. Duncan, you're going to do your bit first, aren't you? I'll get my bit out of the way. I'll get him a seat. <laughs> President Kerry Francis and fellows, <laughs> I'm delighted to introduce no, Beverly Wallace to you. Beverly grew up on the banks of the Rangitiki River, somewhere between Bulls and Fielding, I think, looking out at the Ruahini Ranges, and she was the youngest of a family of nine children experienced the freedom, creativity and innovation of a country living within a family who modelled the importance of community connectedness. Her education career began in the Waikato Teachers College, followed by her first teaching role in Hamilton. Like so many New Zealanders, she headed off on a short-term OE to return to New Zealand nearly 20 years later. <laughs> During that time, she taught in all phases of education, from early years education to postgraduate adult education, she also held advisory and inspection roles and developed a range of specialist areas, including special needs and English as an additional language for children and adults. She held senior management positions in major educational reform programs in England and in the Middle East. Four years ago, Beverly made the decision to return to New Zealand, based on the saying, if you only give your children two things, give them roots and wings. So she brought her then 11-year-old baby albatross, Jasmine, home to establish the same strong roots that she had benefited from during her childhood. Beverly is passionate about education as a right for all and is at her brightest when in a learning partnership, be it with an infant or someone with much greater wisdom and life experience that she could ever aspire to. In her current position, Senior Manager Curriculum and Teaching at, and Learning at Ministry of Education, she oversees policy of, and operations across science, technology, engineering and math mathematics from early years education to the end of schooling. And as mentioned, she is responsible for the Ministry's vital support of the Eureka Symposium, working closely with Francis, who energy and vision have contributed late, largely to its success. Beverly. Beverly, you're joining our club as a, as a member after your application was endorsed by, by the board and then the membership of the club. We've endorsed you becoming a member of the Rotary Club of Wellington because you've shown yourself to be a worthy representative of your vocation, committed to the ideals of Rotary, and are clearly willing to do your part in putting these ideals into practice. Since Paul Harris convened the first meeting in Chicago in 1905, Rotary International has gained a reputation that is unmatched throughout the world. Our principal motto is service above self. And the objective of our club and other Rotary clubs is to encourage and foster such service. All members are aware that everything we do is guided by our four-way test. Is it the truth? Is it fair to all concerned? Will it build goodwill and better friendships? Will it be beneficial to all concerned? Beverly, you are now part of a, this full part of this International Rotary Service team and are joining 1.2 million Rotarians and 34,000 clubs around the world or thereabouts. Your proposal will have outlined the expectations we have on your attendance at our lunches and your involvement in our extensive range of committees and trusts and will act as your mentor in the early days of Rotary involvement. We'll do our best to ensure you enjoy your Rotary journey with our club and we value your help in maintaining the robust standards our club has achieved. So Beverly, you can come a bit closer. Congratulations. So uh, congratulations on joining the Rotary Club of Wellington. So first of all, I've got this pin to give you, which not only gets you in here, but gets you into any Rotary Club in the world, apparently. So wear that with pride. I don't have a dinner name a badge to give you because uh, Francis was so keen for this to happen today. We haven't had one made, but it will get made and it will have a little red star on it 
which will remind everybody that you're new and if you need support or questions answered, they'll answer them for you. And you've already heard France is going to be your buddy. And um, I hope that you uh, find the stimulation uh, and your ability to contribute um, for some of the things you've talked about, uh, uh, that you've already done with Eureka, but that you continue to do for the Road of Club of Wellington. So congratulations, you've got this little pack to take home and read so that we can question you going forward to make sure you've read it at night. Thank you. And uh, congratulations again. Welcome. Thank you.